Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you how you can decorate your Microsoft Word notes. So I had this poll last Thursday and this video got the highest votes. But don't worry, I'm still going to upload a Google Docs notes video and other video ideas you suggested. So stay tuned for that too. Also, I will show you here how you can make your own MS Word design as your template. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing we will be doing before decorating our MS Word notes is to find a color palette. You can search some on colorhunt.co. They have a variety of themes here that you can choose from. I will include the link below if you want to check this out. After looking for the palette you want, open MS Word, so choose the blank document. Then the first thing you have to do is to adjust or fix the page layout. Go to the Layout tab, then on the Margins option, choose Narrow so you can maximize the space, and choose the size you will be using. I will be selecting the letter size for this one since I will also print it here. You can also choose the orientation you will be applying and on the insert tab, you can use a page header and select the one you prefer. You can also add a dotted background for your notes. I will just include the link of this website where I downloaded the PDF dotted printable. I will just download it and then I will open the file on PDF element to convert it to image. You can choose an online converter but I preferred PDF element. Anyways, going back to Microsoft Word, we will now design or I will give you ideas on how you can decorate your notes. Go to the Insert tab, then select the Shapes option. Choose the Curve line, then create an irregular shape at the top and make sure that both ends will meet so that you can apply a shape fill. Go back to the color palette you choose on colorhat.co, then copy the color code you want to apply on the shape. Choose the more fill color so you can paste the color code. Then I will choose the no line option and add a shadow for the shape. So this is optional. After that, click the small icon to adjust the other settings. I just set the blur menu to 0%, adjust the size, and change the shadow's color. To add a text on the shape, right click on it and select the add text option. You can now type here the title of your lesson. Choose the font you want and I pick the Beatrice font. I will also include the link below if you want to download this font style. Change the color and under it, I will add the subject name then set another font style. I just chose here the Avenir Next LD Pro font. Adjust the size and color of it. To adjust the spacing of the text, highlight them and here I, I set the before and after spacing to zero point. I just used some info from the web to show you guys how you can use this template. Here I just applied the Hillsense font, adjust its size and alignment. Next is to insert a shape and here I choose a line. I will just place it in the middle so we will have this two column notes. I'm gonna change the color and its line weight and select this dash design. So before I proceed in designing the notes part, I will share with you first this software. Zoom US is an app designed for PowerPoint presentations and video conferences. You can make your presentation more engaging and attractive to your viewers. This is a useful app if you want to level up your video presentations in school. You can immediately record a video of yourself while presenting your PowerPoint without doing the editing process. It is helpful for online education, business cooperation, product marketing, and more. Once you download the app, click on it and it has here these two options. In creating a new video option, you can easily record yourself while presenting and they have here a variety of options you can choose from. They have different template designs and you can also add some text or photos. They also have here an import PowerPoint option where you can add your PowerPoint then record yourself while presenting it. It also has menus like the camera settings, you can adjust them.
and once you're satisfied with it, you can now start recording. It also has a pointer feature so that you can annotate your presentation and after that, save it to your device once you're done. And here's a short sample video. Good day everyone, I'm gonna present to you all about cells. Cells are basic building blocks of all living things. This is an example of the plant and animal cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, this organ specific destinations, either inside or outside the cell. And that is all for this presentation. If you want to try Sumi OS, you can visit the link below in the description box. And yes, now let's go back to the video. The next thing you will do is to add a text box, and here you will add your notes. I'm just going to place it here first on one side, adjust its size, and delete the text that is included. I will just add this subheader, and I set the font of the text to all the roll, change its size, and color. For the text box, choose the no fill and no outline option. Here, I decided to add a shape behind the subheader, pick the rounded corner shape, and I set its fill color to this light green from the palette. You can also adjust how light or dark you want. Send it backward to show the text in front of it. Here, I just added the terms and its meaning. Choose this orange font, but you can definitely choose the color you prefer. Adjust the alignment of the text. You can use the ruler above. The notes at the top part can be a definition of the topic you will be tackling. And I set the font color to gray. I applied heel sense empty font for the definition or sentences. I choose the Grestel script demo font for its meaning. I will just apply this to all key terms. Adjust their sizes and spacing to 1.15 to maximize the space on the document. After filling the first column, duplicate the text box and place it on the other column. Delete the content and just continue with adding your notes. After that, I will add another shape and here you can place those essential details or key points you have to remember. I chose a rounded shape corner, change its fill color and the outline. So same before, right-click on it and choose the Add Text option to paste your notes here. Change its font color and style depending on your preference. You can also add an icon, go to the Insert tab and select the Icon option. Here, I decided to search for a star icon, select it and click the Import button. Adjust its size and change its fill color extension has this Black Friday event from November 22nd to November 26th where they offer you discounts and some promos if you will buy or purchase something from their website. You can also add a photo on your notes. So here I just copied one from the net then adjust its size. Select the wrap text option you want to apply and here, I just added another text box below it. Here on MS Word, you can also add a date. Go to the insert tab, then select the date option and the style you want to apply. Click the OK button and I will just place it here below the subject name. So this is how my page 1 looks like. We will now go to the next page and I will show you some additional designs. Here, I added another subheader, apply the same font and color of a subheader from the previous page. Then I added this shape, right click on it to format it. Then on the fill option, you can choose a solid color or a pattern fill. So here, I selected a small grid pattern, changed the color, and choose the gnome outline option. Under it, I decided to add another shape and place here some additional notes. You can also add some photos and a title to it. Change the font and font size depending on your preference. I also duplicated the line and text box from the first page. Place some more notes and adjust them. 
Next, duplicate the text box again and place the subheader here. Add your notes and key terms below. So this works on those notes that are new enumerated or if you're comparing or contrasting them. So I just applied the same font style on the subheader and on the definition, adjust the alignment and I will repeat this also to the other description. Next is to add a line. I choose here the connector elbow line and I will connect the subheader to each key terms. Change their line weight and color based on your preference. Duplicate it and place it on the other side. And this is how it looks like. So remember the dotted PDF file we saved before. You can place it here in your notes before printing or passing the assignment to your teacher. Just make sure to send the photo at the back so it will not cover your notes and duplicate it to place it on the other page. And this is how the notes I designed on MS Word. If you want to set your own design as a template, click the file tab, then the save as option, choose a folder where you want to save your template, add a file name, Select Word Template as the file type, then click Save. If you want to use your template after opening MS Word, click on More Templates, then the Personal tab, and choose the template you created. You can now edit and use it for your notes. So if you want to watch my other Microsoft Word Notes videos, I will link them below so you can have more ideas and ways to decorate your MS Word Notes. So again, if you want to download Zoom US and use it for school, you can check the description box below or in the pinned comment. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Stay safe guys and bye. See you on my next video.